Welcome to Electronic Devices and Circuits Lab. So in the today's uh, lab, we are going to conduct another experiment. And the objective of this experiment is to obtain the frequency response of RC coupled amplifier. So in the my previous video, I have already explained about the single stage uh, common emitter amplifier frequency response. So now we'll uh, discuss uh, the RC coupled amplifier, which is a multi-stage amplifier. So uh, whatever the method that I have explained in my previous video, the same method we have to uh, again follow for this particular experiment also. Okay. So those who have not watched that particular video, I recommend them to please uh, first go through those particular videos so that you will be able to know about the basics of how to make this single stage common emitter amplifier. So uh, just for recalling purpose, you can see this particular uh, single stage amplifier circuit that I have explained in my previous video. So the same circuit I have replicated again. Okay. So this was just a single stage, the same stage, uh, one another stage I have added, okay, in front of it, okay, so in the cascaded board. So this is our single stage RC, um, single stage common emitter amplifier, and another stage I have added at this side, okay, the same section I have added. So because of the cascading of the two stages, normally uh, the gain of the uh, cascaded or multi-stage amplifier will increase. But uh, at the same time, the bandwidth of this particular overall multi-stage amplifier will uh, reduce as compared to the single stage that we will see uh, by obtaining the frequency response curve. Okay, so frequency response to obtain the frequency response, uh, what are the methods I have already explained to you. And before that, you must remember that we have chosen this value uh, such a way that uh, this transistor should be operated in the active region. This uh, All these components will uh, make the Q point uh, should be uh, operated in the middle of your active region, right? So that we have to take care. So here you can see we have connected two transistors. Okay, we have connected two transistors. Uh, and then we have to obtain the frequency response. So uh, you just please recall this particular uh, frequency response of single stage amplifier that I have already discussed in my previous video. So you must be able to remember a similar uh, response we have to again obtain for the uh, this particular cascaded stage. Now the only difference is that we have to apply the input from this input side and uh, now we have to take the output from this second stage. Okay, so this second stage uh, we have to take the output. You must uh, remember this uh, particular frequency generator, okay? Here actually in the previous video when I uh, did this experiment of frequency response in the single stage, if you recall, this uh, amplitude that we had taken is 10 millivolt peak to peak, okay? Uh, 10 millivolt, uh, millivolt V peak, okay? So that was 20 millivolt V peak to peak we had taken. But because uh, when we are taking this uh, RC coupled amplifier, okay, you remember that because there are two stages, right? We are we are having two different stages. So overall, the overall gain of the transistor will increase, right? And because of uh, uh, we have to choose this amplitude should be very small, okay? This value cannot be now 10 millivolt peak to peak, okay? It should be less than that. So I have taken this value as 100 micro. Uh, volt. Okay, you remember this point. Okay, if you take 10 millivolt, then obviously you will be able to observe cert certain uh, uh, clipping. Okay, I have already explained why this clipping is occurring in my previous lecture. So please remember this point. Here we have to choose this value now 100 microvolt. Okay, only 100 microvolt because this value will become 200. Uh, micro volt V peak to peak. Okay. Uh, so this is one of the change that we have to remember. You cannot make it 10 millivolt peak to peak. And now uh, you can start conducting your experiment in a similar fashion that we did for our single stage, right? So this is the RC amplifier and you have to make this table again. A similar voltage uh, frequencies I have taken here. You can take, take this value. We have taken this uh, V input peak to peak as uh, uh, this is uh, this is uh, you are 20 uh, 200 uh, see, see it is 100 microvolt okay so it is 200 microvolt v 
peak to peak. So this is what we have written here. Okay, this value is two hundred microvolt. Okay, the peak to peak. So this is fifty hertz, then hundred hertz, two hundred hertz, and so on. So these all values we have to take, and then you have to make the observation, right? So if you make it fifty hertz, you can try to see this output. Okay, if you make it, uh, let me make it fifty hertz. So if you make it fifty hertz, and if you execute this circuit okay here we can observe this outputs okay so properly you have to adjust this time sensitivity and voltage sensitivity okay so that you will be able to observe this waveform okay so here we can see this output waveform right so here we have this output this is yellow one is the input signal and this is our output signal so to see this yellow signal i have made this voltage sensitivity in microvolts and remember that to give this uh, small such a small signal Okay, you please follow my previous lecture, this discussion, okay? You may uh, use this potential divider. If you don't have such facility in your uh, function generator to give such a small voltage, then you have to use such potential divider so that a very small voltage you can uh, apply, right? So that discussion you please recall from my previous lecture. So uh, now here you can see this uh, voltage, okay? This voltage here you can see. This voltage is coming out as 120 millivolt. So that voltage I have noted down here in this table. This is 0.12, right? It is 120 millivolt. And now again, I can see this 500 hertz. So if you make this uh, voltage, uh, sorry, this frequency 500 hertz, then you can see this uh, waveform again, right? So here you can see this waveform is now has increased, uh, increased its amplitude. So if you uh, properly choose this voltage sensitivity, then you will be able to see this waveform properly, right? Now you can see this uh, V peak to peak is coming as 4.74. So here I have noted down the same value, okay, 4.74, right? And then again, uh, you can see uh, there is a maximum gain that we are getting is around 900 or uh, 10,000 uh, or 10 kilohertz, you can say, right? So if you make it uh, 10 kilohertz, okay, let me make it 10 kilohertz, right? Uh, 10 kilohertz, if you make it, then uh, let me make it 10 kilohertz. So if you make it 10 kilohertz, then uh, you will be able to see this value, okay? So again, here you can see this is sinusoidal wave. There's no distortion in the output that you can observe. This is very important point to note. So there is no uh, no uh, distortion and here you can see this output is 8.28 volt right so here i have noted down the same 8.28 volts here you can see this value is 8.28 volt so in a similar fashion again you can repeat all this uh, experiment okay you just uh, take this different frequencies keep the input amplitude as a constant and then keep on measuring this v output using this ero okay so you have to use this ero because you don't have such voltage probes uh, in your real life okay you have the multimeter but uh, there it will be showing you vrms you won't be able to see the v peak to peak uh, but you have to use the cro to ensure that the voltages that you have applied and you are getting from the output both are sinusoidal there is no distortion in the waveform so please uh, do that measurement and then you can uh, make this table okay so please see this all input frequencies you have to choose okay uh, this all 500, 675 is corresponding to 3 dB, lower 3 dB uh, frequency, cutoff frequency. At this point, this gain is 5.86. This output voltage is 5.86, which is uh, 0 0.707 times of its uh, mid-band gain, right? So our mid-band gain is around 8.28, right? So if you take the 0 0.707 times, uh, you will be getting this lower 3 dB uh, gain, right? So here it is 5.86. Similarly, you can make it 10 kilohertz, 20, 30, 40 kilohertz, then 50 kilohertz. Here it is 10 kilohertz. Uh, this is 50 kilohertz. Then uh, here it is 1 megahertz, right? Uh, then here it is, uh, I think it is 1.5. Okay. So this way you have to uh, choose. It is 1.7 megahertz, right? At 1.7 megahertz, we are getting this uh, uh, upper 3 dB gain, 5.84. Okay, upper 3 dB gain point. Okay, so it is 5.84. And then again, if you further increase, uh, this will be 
uh, this uh, gain, you will find that it will reduce. Okay. So here I will be showing you this uh, few values. Okay. I have already shown you this uh, 10 kilohertz. So now let me make it uh, 1.7 megahertz. Okay. So if we make it 1.7 megahertz, let me make it 1.7 megahertz. So if you make it 1.7, uh, and, and then if we execute it again, we will be able to see this waveform, okay? So now here you can see this waveform, okay? And this waveform is now visible. So here you can see this value, okay? This we peak to peak value is uh, 0.815, okay? So that value I have written here. Uh, let me see what I have written, mm, okay? This value is V peak to peak is 0 0.815 millivolt. Okay, so I think something is missing over here. Let me see it. <clears throat> One second. Okay, so that frequency value is uh, actually it is not uh, 1.7 megahertz, but it is uh, 170 kilohertz. You can see this value. Okay, this is 50 kilohertz. Uh, this is 50 kilohertz. And after that, uh, this value is around 170 kilohertz. Fine. So it is 170 kilohertz. Here you can see. Right. It is 170 kilohertz that you have to remember. It is actually 100 kilohertz. It is 150 kilohertz. And this one is 170 kilohertz. So we wrongly taken that value equals to uh, 1.7 megahertz. So if you make it 170 kilohertz, you can observe this output, right? So here you can see this value is 5.84, right? So this is what I have noted down here. It is 5.84 and then 20 kilohertz. Uh, sorry, it is 200 kilohertz. Then again, you can uh, go up to this value, right? Here you can go up to this particular value. So this way, uh, you can conduct your experiment. You can find out this all V output voltages, okay? And then you can calculate the gain. Gain will be the ratio of this V output upon V input. And then you can find out what is the gain in the 3 dB, right? So after finding out all these uh, values, you can uh, plot this particular curve. So how to plot uh, this curve? You have to select this frequency value. This frequency value you have to select. Okay, and then you have to select this gain in 3 dB, uh, gain in dB, okay. And then you have to uh, go to this insert tab and then this is your uh, curve, okay. This way you can select your curve, right. Then again, you can change this scale to be uh, on logarithmic scale. So you will be able to get this curve, okay. So the similar curve I have uh, plotted here, okay, that you can see. One important observation that we have to make from our previous video that in the previous video, I told you that uh, there will be one uh, term which is important for your uh, uh, amplifiers, which is gain bandwidth product. So if you remember in the single stage, uh, 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 your common emitter amplifier, you remember that this gain bandwidth product that we got is uh, with the RL is 7074, okay, 7074.34 megahertz. This is the gain bandwidth product that we got, okay? And uh, again, in this stage, if you see, you can write this 3 dB bandwidth, okay? It is uh, this uh, uh, 170 kilohertz minus 675, okay? This is 170 kilohertz minus 675. That will become the 3 dB bandwidth. The maximum gain that we are getting is 41400. So if you calculate this gain bandwidth product, you will be getting this value around 7010. So normally here you can see in both the cases, right? 
here this uh, bandwidth was quite large okay here you can see this 3 db bandwidth was quite large it is very large value right but uh, at the same time this gain was very small right but if you see here in the rc coupled amplifier multi stage amplifier this 3 db bandwidth is low but the gain is quite high and therefore if you uh, multiply this value this gain bandwidth product is almost constant okay this value is almost constant. It's constant because uh, normally in the uh, uh, any multi-stage amplifier, if your gain will increase by the same factor, your uh, 3dB bandwidth will reduce. Okay. So I hope this discussion must be clear how to obtain this frequency response of a multi-stage amplifier. So please uh, follow this circuit and uh, try to do the experiment. If you feel any uh, doubt, any query, please uh clear your doubt with your comments okay so please comment your doubts in the comments i will be trying to uh, answer those questions thank you for watching this video stay stay connected with the channel thank you